Hi, Steph. Hey, guys. Happy Monday. Hope everyone is having a great day. Back to work and school Monday, huh? but hey, the weather's not too bad, depending on where you live. <laughs> yes, exactly. Tell us a little bit about this uh, record-breaking heat coming up. Yeah, so across the Northeast, it's going to be a great week up and down the I-95. So cities like Philly, D.C., Boston, New York, going to enjoy record-pushing some places, record-breaking warmth, especially as we head into the late week and towards the weekend. We're looking at daytime highs in the 60s. Considering we're almost around Christmas time, it's pretty crazy, but I like it. I don't know. Some people <laughs> like the snow and the cold and the Christmas spirit. I'll take shorts weather any day. So <laughs> what we have going on is uh, we do have a high pressure system that's going to continue to strengthen. And the return flow kind of out ahead of our next system is going to push all this warm air in from the south. So as I mentioned, all up and down the 95 from Maine south towards Richmond, record highs will be challenged. We'll enjoy more sun than clouds and mild nights. So if you're heading out for the uh, for your weekend, Saturday, Friday night, it's going to be awesome out there. So get out and enjoy it. Just a uh, beautiful weather to look forward to over the uh, next couple of days, especially towards the weekend. But unfortunately, the pack Northwest isn't going to see such nice weather. They're dealing with quite a few storm systems, the jet stream acting almost like a track. And these storms are just going to keep on coming through. And so we're going to see really unsettled conditions throughout the day on Wednesday. We're looking at widespread rain, Seattle, Portland, getting into Medford. And then as we look ahead towards the late week, this rain is going to continue to kind of slip on south here, getting towards the San Joaquin Valley in California. Now, of course, California under a drought as it is most of the year. So uh, the rain in Northern Cal definitely beneficial, the mountain snow beneficial as well. But we're going to be dealing with uh, flash flooding, travel delays, definitely going to be an issue as we head over the next couple of days. Here's just a quick look at what we can expect for our rainfall potential. You'll notice the dark green right along the coast there. We're looking at 6 to 12 inches of rain. Seattle, Portland, Medford, 3 to 6 inches of rain. And then mountain snow as you get towards the higher elevation. So very unsettled. It's been unsettled there over the last couple of days. So unfortunately, the stormy pattern going to remain in place, at least as we head throughout the midweek. And can you go back to the graphic on the uh, warmer temperatures? Someone mm -hmm. was wondering about uh, New York City. Yeah, New York City is going to get into the 60s as we head in towards the late week, currently in the 50s. Um, so still above average right now, but they're going to be pushing records once we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Thanks so much for updating everyone thanks, here on Periscope, Steph. You can follow us on at Breaking Weather as well as at AccuWeather for updates. Thank you.